Former Speaker Nancy Pelosi making news today when she said that she thinks that Democrats can regain control of the House by using Medicare as a weapon against the GOP. Here is part of what she told ABC News. Give me a prediction. Are you going to be Speaker of the House again? Or I, I, are Democrats know, going, to, going to win back the House? I think the Democrats have a very good chance of winning the House. The, uh, there are over 60 districts which President Obama carried that are held yeah. by Republicans now. In those districts, uh, Medicare is a very big issue. I wish we could change the minds of the Republicans on abolishing uh, Medicare. Uh, the public is going to have to help us do that, either before the election or at the time of the election. Very interesting. All right, joined now by Tennessee Republican Marsha Blackburn. She is the House Deputy Whip. Uh, Congresswoman, welcome. Good to have you here. Thanks, Martha. So Nancy Pelosi says that she wishes that they could change the minds of Republicans on abolishing Medicare. Uh, but she says the people are just going to have to help them do that. And if that puts her back in the Speaker's House, I'm sure that would be probably fine with her. Well, I tell you, I think Nancy Pelosi believes that the road back to the Speaker's House is paved with falsehoods and with fear-mongering, with scare tactics. The problem is this. Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats are the ones that drove a stake through the heart of Medicare when they cut $500 billion in order to pay for Obamacare. So, you know, I mean, but th this is where the battle is being defined right now. You're going to hear this again and again and again. We all remember the ad where, you know, right. grandma's being pushed by somebody who looks a lot like Paul Ryan off the, off the edge of a cliff. Uh, they're going to try to scare, and they, they say it's happening on your side as well, that, that everybody's trying to scare, you know, all of the old folks that they're going to lose their Medicare. Yeah, Martha, the thing is this, the Washington Post, the AP, factcheck.org have proven what the Democrats are saying to be wrong. Now, we have a plan. What we're trying to do is save Medicare for today's current seniors and near seniors and then find a workable path forward. Right now, if you were born the year Medicare started, you're only going to get 90% of your benefits and you're paying for these. Government has first right of refusal on that paycheck. They take their money out first. It comes out of your paycheck, you're only going to get 90% back. And if you're in your 30s today, you're only going to get 75% of those benefits. So what we are doing is saying, let's address this problem now. The Medicare trustees tell us that in 2024, this fund is going to right. be bankrupt. And it is a trust fund. People have had that money coming out of their checks. Well, let me We're ask saying, you this. let's get in behind it, get uh, it solved. Are, are you, do you support Paul Ryan's plan? And this is going to be the headline for so many of these uh, election discussions and debates uh, that Paul Ryan's plan, you know, according to the other side, believes that it will abolish Medicare. Are you going to back Paul Ryan's plan and how solid are Republicans behind that plan? I do back Paul Ryan's plan and the Republicans. Our approach to this is let's make certain that we preserve Medicare for today's seniors and near seniors. If you are 55 and over, this is not going to affect you. But if you are 54 and younger, let's have a conversation about how we do this. Maybe the premium support plan where you buy into something similar to the Federal Employee Health Benefit Plan, that is the way to go. Maybe, let's have that discussion. But the point is this, the trustees say in 2024, it is going to be broke. We have three independent organizations right. that have proven the Democrat talking points wrong, and we're saying, let's get this well, issue People are going to have to pay very close attention uh, to both yes, sides and get are. the facts on all of this. Marsha Blackburn, thank you very much. Thank Always you. good to have you with us.